Hello everybody, this is Phil with Miranda Detailing. Just wanted to go live and uh, give you guys some updates. So I'm going to show you around the trailer and just uh, give you a couple of updates and things that we have been doing uh, lately. Uh, but it has been really busy and we also went away for a week to go visit our family up north, uh, up in Vermont and in Boston. So haven't had a lot of time to do editing. I do have videos that I need to edit. Um, there's actually a Chevy SS that we did, a single stage uh, all-in-one polish on. Um, there's also a couple of interior videos uh, that we did uh, recently, or not videos, but vehicles that I still have to edit and make videos. So uh, there's gonna be some cool stuff uh, with that as well because um, I got a little GoPro knockoff head cam uh, so I have my other camera that I use and uh, hey, how's it going Kyle? And um, and I also have the little head cam so you get like a point of view. So the quality of the head cam isn't perfect, but it's pretty decent quality uh, for what I needed to do. So uh, let me just show you around the trailer. I'll answer any questions uh, that I see up on the chat and uh, just give you guys a couple of updates because I didn't have a video to drop today. And like I said in other live videos, I may go live every once in a while to kind of fill in those gaps. So let me show you around, uh, especially I wanted to show you how I fill uh, the mobile tank that I have in here. So I have the 65 gallon water tank and uh, I actually did kind of a customized thing here, which I, I might need to fix a little bit. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Ryan, how you doing, man? Um, yeah, so let me switch the camera around here and show you. So this is how I fill it up. So this is my hose, um, you know, that goes to my house. And uh, I just have another, I don't know, it's maybe like five feet of hose that goes right into the top of the tank. Now, sometimes if I fill this thing up, whoops, like it's right about the limit here. I usually don't want to go the full 65. I usually do about 50 gallons, which is right about here. Because if it gets too high, it splashes and makes a mess. So I might figure out another way of uh, fixing that so it doesn't make such so much of a mess because it splashes down there and gets everything wet. If you guys have any tips on that, let me know. If not, I'm just going to come up with an idea on how to fix that. Maybe something around that to stop it from uh, splashing. It doesn't really do it on this one as much as it does on that one. So I think because it's at the end, it splashes up, makes a big mess. So let me give you an update on the trailer. So I actually painted these little side doors here. Remember they were just bare wood before and I had to install this ugly piece of plywood. I really don't like it. I might uh, change it up later We'll, we'll see, I might just fill it up with stuff, hooks, and all sorts of accessories here. Um, but I bolted it there, that way I have a solid piece to bolt these things onto. So, kind of like a little towel rack and, and bottle holder rack for now when I'm working and on the job. And then this side, I did the same thing. So these I, I hooked up here. So in the other video, you saw that I kind of just had them across the top here. Well, I wanted room for these nice wire racks. I have links to these in one of my videos. Um, so definitely check that out. I'm going to put them on my website too. I don't think I have links to my website uh, for these wire racks, but they were really cheap and they're heavy duty racks and they hold a lot of stuff. So I installed those two there. I might get another one to put over here. And, uh, and I also got a new foam cannon because my old one, well, that's uh, in the garage right now. The old one, I think got clogged up on me. There's a little wire mesh thing in here that you need to replace every once in a while. Um, so this is actually just a cheap foam cannon that I bought and it performs really well, but I did notice this fitting right here wasn't tight and it was sucking in air and producing no foam. So that was weird. So I had to tighten this up and then it was not a problem. Um, it does a good job. It's a little wonky, like this knob doesn't adjust really, really well. Um, 
but you know it's fine it's just a foam can it's nothing it's not a major piece of equipment so everything else i think is pretty much the same and i have my light in there uh, all set up as well so i'm still working on stuff here and also i will have a review out for this so just to kind of give you a quick uh, little video on it so this is the company that makes it is sgcb i don't know i bought it on ebay and i think it was only like 50 60 dollars so it's kind of you know the tornador knockoff it does have the little rotating piece in there it has the brush attachment but um for being i shouldn't really say it's a knockoff but it kind of is for being cheaper the quality of the components are pretty decent and all these pieces come apart so that you can do maintenance and clean everything which is really cool so all these things come apart and you can change out these little brush heads you don't have to have the brush on there you can just have um, you know just the end of it here without this but this is really nice and solid it's it's really well built so I really do like this I've been making a bunch of videos with this using it on carpets using it on doors and door panels and cup holders and all sorts of stuff but I really do like this they also make just the nozzle part it's more expensive I don't know why you know just to buy the nozzle part without this piece is like 115 which is weird and then there's another one that looks more like the traditional Tornador nozzle. And that one's only like $21 or $25. Their pricing is weird. I don't know why. But uh, very impressed with this. And my 8-gallon air compressor does a pretty good job of keeping up with it. So again, I'll do a little bit more um, an in-depth review of this and the air compressor that I use as well. So I use this in conjunction with my other blow gun here and uh, it works really really well so I am really happy with this tool and it has its little home right up there and I use these microfiber little things that I made just to protect it because I don't want it wearing the metal parts there so that's where it goes for now so not much has changed in the trailer it's just a bit of a mess just from a, a busy work day today so uh yeah if you guys have any questions or comments put them down below let me know i do have videos coming out so hang tight i just need time to edit it's been really it's been really crazy been really busy so i will have time to edit those and get some videos out and if you guys have any suggestions uh, if you have any suggestions as far as what you would like to see interior exterior whatever let me know down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to make a video on that. I'll just make a list of videos that I need to make and, uh, and try to get all of those different suggestions that you have and, uh, and see what I can do. Some things I can do, some things I may not be able to do or they may be difficult. So just give me some time and I'll, and I'll work on that and try to bring you guys some good content. And uh, that way you guys can, can learn from it. You guys can enjoy watching it. That's really, I think, what this channel has become. I designed it to kind of be for my customers so they can see what we do. And uh, it's kind of grown into reviews, tutorials, things like that. And uh, I, I do want it to grow in that direction to do maybe some in-depth tutorials. So I do have some other products that I will be reviewing as well. Uh, 303 was kind enough to send me a little care package. A box came in and there's like four different products. Their tire bomb and their uh, spray wax and rubber cleaner and another product. Uh, so I'll be testing those out too. And uh, a few other things that, that I'll be testing out also. So tell me what you guys think. Let me know, like the video, share it with others, subscribe to our channel and uh, click that little bell and notification that way you get uh, notifications when our videos drop and you don't miss stuff. So we'll see everybody later. Everybody have a good weekend and a good night. Take care.